Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, I'm the introverted reader. And today's video, I'm really sorry that it's like, it's it's not even four o'clock and it's already getting dark. So if I end up using a filter to make this a little bit brighter, um, don't, is that better? I'm not sure. I've moved me lamp <laughs> and I've got another lamp over there, but they're not doing a great job. But if I end up using a filter to make this brighter, just uh, bear with, okay? Um, but today's video is gonna be the BuzzFeed Unsolved book tag. I did not know this existed, but I was searching for book tags to do today. And I find one on ZZ with Books um, blog. And like, they have like a whole list of um, book tags on here. Um, so yeah. Um, the tag was created by booktuber Sarah from the YA room. So thank you, Sarah, for that. Um, so anyway, so if you've watched BuzzFeed Unsolved, you'll be familiar with all the terms I'm about to tell you. But basically, it was this show on YouTube hosted by these two guys, Shane and Ryan. And they basically went like, they went ghost hunting. They talked about mysteries that are obviously unsolved and stuff like that. So I would recommend them. I mean, they have their own channel now, but you know. Anyway, enough talking. Cheers. And let's uh, let's get into the tag. So um, the first one is Shaniac. <laughs> um, a book you don't think is deserving of its height. Now, first of all, Shaniac is the term used for fans of the show that agreed with uh, one of the hosts, Shane, and that he doesn't believe in ghosts, but Ryan does, and his fans call themselves Shaniacs. So the term for that is a book you don't think is deserving of its hype. A book I don't think is deserving of its hype. Um, well, I have yet to read Fourth Wing, so I can't talk about that just yet, but once I read it... um. One that I recently attempted to read was Ariadne by Jennifer Saint because it had a really high rating on Goodreads. Everyone around me was telling me that it was really, that it was going to be really good, but I ended up DNFing it. So you are all liars. So, um, Bugara, a book that chilled you to the core. Bugara is a term for Ryan's, Ryan's fans because his last name is Bugara. So made sense. A book that chilled you to the core. Um, Diary of Blood, I'd have to say, really chilled me because it's just so powerful. And the I have a, an entire review for it on my channel if you want to go and watch it. But the whole idea of that is people stuck in an abusive relationship. Obviously, the obviously they're, you know, vampires and it's, you know, there's all this all that to do with vampires in there but at the end of it it is about these people that are stuck in this relationship with this really abusive person and whenever I was reading it I was like this author has either gone through this herself or or she knows someone who has she has experience so anyway so yeah diary of blood um shitfish <laughs> a book you're not sure where you stand on well a book I'm not entirely sure where I stand on is um well, a lot of books that I've DNF'd over the while, um, I'm not really fully sure where I stand on, like Space Band by Tom Fletcher. Even though I love middle grade and I thought it was a really cute concept, I didn't really engage with it. Um, Nine Liars by Maureen Johnson is another one. Like I know, I know I said on my unhaul video that, you know, I thought it was really boring. I didn't really like the, the direction that it went, but at the same time, there was still some stuff that I liked about it. But, you know, I'm confusion at the end of it all. <laughs> Books that make me feel confused, um, you know, are, are definite, are like books that make me feel confused. I don't really remember very often because if I didn't know what was happening, then I just forgot about it altogether. And the next one, hey there demons, it's me, ya yeah boy. <laughs> a book that kept you up at night. Um, well, two that I had in mind, one I've already mentioned, Diary of Blood and another one, um, Aristotle and Dante, like both, both the books in that little duology. 
the writing in those, like those two are definitely books that I am going to remember reading for a really, really long time because the writing in both of them is just so beautiful. I just made me feel all the things, like different feelings for each one. But yeah, it made me, it gave me all the very, very deep, deep, deep feelings. And listen, I would, I would definitely be lying in bed thinking about them because they definitely had an impact on me. Um, wheeze. <laughs> it's just the word wheeze in brackets. If you know, you know. A book that made you laugh out loud. Oh, um, Lightning Struck Heart by TJ Clune. Mentioned that numerous times. Um, laughed so hard while reading those. Um, the very first time I read Noah Can Even by Simon James Green. Like I was cackling while reading that. Um, let me see. Mothman, a hyped fave. So a book that's hyped up that is a favorite of mine. Well, a book that definitely was hyped up that is definitely up there with my favorites is From Blood and Ash. I know that's definitely an unpopular opinion in these parts, but I had a ton of fun reading that. Um, another one is Spanish Love Deception and The American Roommate Experiment. Uh, those two, like, I have, like, are they perfect? No. But did I have a great time reading them? Yeah, I did. Like, I know they're not technically good, but I had fun. So leave me alone, Barbara. <laughs> um, the next one, Holy Water. Every time I hear Holy Water, I can't think of like, you know that clip of Andrew Garfield when he's on stage? He's like, Holy Water! Like, that's that's all I can think of when I think of that. Um, a book you'd protect with your life. Oh, Strange the Dreamer by Lani Taylor. I haven't talked about that book in a good while, but I love that book so much. It's definitely a favorite. I need to reread it at some stage, but it's mainly because of Laszlo Strange. Laszlo Strange is a sweet little cinnamon bun dusted in sugar that needs to be protected at all times. Um, let me see. Demons! <laughs> Demons, a book you're too scared to read. I'm not too scared to read this because I think the material is going to scare me. I've mentioned this numerous times before, but Babel. Every time I think about like, oh, I'm gonna have to read that at some stage, my stomach literally ties itself into knots. And it's like, because I'm either I'm scared, I'm not gonna like it. Uh, or it's gonna confuse me and make me feel stupid. <laughs> and I know I'm not stupid. Um, but listen, it's gonna happen at some stage, I promise. Um, let me see. Okay, we're nearing the end. But for now, this mystery will remain unsolved. <laughs> um, a book you needed more from or a book you didn't want to end? Um, well, a book I wanted more from is probably... Oh, let me think. A book I wanted more out of. Do you know what? I could probably go through all the books that I've unhauled as of recently. Um, Gwen and Art Are Not In Love was one that I, I just wanted so much more out of. It was not what I was expecting it to be. And one that I didn't want to end was Curse For True Love by Stephanie Garber. Like, I've got it over there. I'm going to talk about it in my wrap up at the end of the month. But, oh, I love that series so much. And I was so excited to get that book. But then finishing it was just really sad. And I think this is, oh no, two more left. Okay, so... BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem, a book you still have questions about. Well, a book I still have questions about. Um, well, <laughs> Nine Liars, because what the hell was that? <laughs> Hot Dega. Again, if you know, you know. I'm probably talking gibberish to half of you, but if you're one of the ones that know, then you know. But if you don't know, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Um, Hot Dega goes for a trashy fave. And I'm going to say House of Night. House of Night is definitely a, um, listen, it's a trashy fave, but, oh, my computer's giving me extra light. Um, that's my phone ringing. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a trashy fave. Like, it's not perfect, but I love that series with my whole entire heart. But anyway, I, uh, that is the end of the tag. If you wish to do it, then consider yourself tagged if you want to to do this tag as well. So I'm gonna love yous and leave yous. I have things to do. <laughs> 
So all my socials are down below as always, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Subscribe if you haven't already. I am so close to 300 subscribers. So if you're new here and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. So um, yeah, I love yous and I'll see yous in my next video, which is next week. Bye.